In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage access to workloads in Workload Manager. We do this by assigning roles to users. In Workload Manager, there are four types of roles. The cluster admin, the cluster user, the workload user, and the limited environment user, which is used in conjunction with the workload user. This video will cover the basics of all of these user roles and show you how to assign them. For this example, I have two users. I have my admin user, Admin Allosaurus, who is a power user and also a cluster admin. The power user has access to everything within Workload Manager, and this user can assign roles to other users. My second user, T-Rex, is not a power user, and he will only have access to objects in Workload Manager based on the roles that I assigned to him. I have two Chrome windows open here. Admin Allosaurus is signed into this one on the left, as you can see. Admin Allosaurus has one data lake cluster available, the Theropod cluster. And over here in this window on the left, I have my user T-Rex signed in. As you can see, T-Rex doesn't have any clusters visible in Workload Manager. That's because we haven't assigned to many roles yet, but we will. Back in Admin Allosaurus's window, I can scroll to the right here to the Actions drop-down menu. Because Admin Allosaurus is a power user, he can rename the cluster, delete the cluster, enable cluster report emails, and most importantly, manage access to the cluster, which is what we're going to select. In the Manage Access window, I can see that the only user that currently has access to the Theropod cluster is Admin Allosaurus. If I click on Update Roles, I can see what roles he has. Admin Allosaurus is a cluster admin. Cluster admins have full access to the cluster and workload manager, but note that they cannot assign roles to other users. Admin Allosaurus is able to assign roles because he's a power user, not because he's a cluster admin. So now let's assign a role to T-Rex. I'll close this window, and I'll search for T-Rex in the search bar. I'll click his name, and here I can assign him a role. I'll give him the cluster user role so we can see what that gives him access to. I'll click Update Roles. And now we can see that Admin Allosaurus and T-Rex have access to the Theropod cluster. So let's go back to T-Rex's window and I'll refresh this page. And now he can see the Theropod cluster. But if I scroll to the right here, there is no Actions drop-down menu. As a cluster user, T-Rex doesn't have permissions to edit the cluster. But let's go ahead and open the Theropod cluster. And we'll open the Workloads page. As you can see, T-Rex can view the workloads in the cluster. But if I scroll to the right here, there is also no Actions drop-down menu. Cluster users also cannot edit workloads. But let's say that even this is too much access for T-Rex. He really only needs to see the bird workload. So let's restrict his access even further. We'll go back to our admin user and give T-Rex a workload user role. I'll click Update Roles. And we'll switch him from a cluster user to a limited cluster user. The limited cluster user role allows the user to view the cluster in the cluster's page, but that's it. This role does not give the user access to anything within Workload Manager. So let's also give him access to the bird workload. I'll go into the clusters page and open the Theropod cluster. And on the workloads page, I can scroll to the right and here I do have an Actions drop-down menu, so I'll open that and select Manage Access. And I'll search for T-Rex's name again. And here I'll give him the workload user role for the bird workload. I'll click Update Roles.
And now let's go back to T-Rex's window and we'll refresh this page again. And there you go. He can only view the bird workload now. In this way, I can restrict access to a cluster or a workload. If I wanted T-Rex to be able to edit the cluster or the workloads, I could give him the cluster admin role. For more information about managing access to Workload Manager, see the Cloudera documentation at docs.cloudera.com. If you have questions, feel free to leave a comment below and we'll be happy to answer. Thank you.